buddy. Are you gonna help me mow the lawn? You gonna help me look at this? This lawn's almost as tall as you. Maybe not quite. <laughs> I don't know what I wanna do first. I don't know what I wanna do first, man. Why don't you go run? Diesel's inside because whenever Diesel goes out for a run at the same time, all Sergeant does is follow him around and doesn't listen to me. But if Diesel's not here, look how well he listens. He doesn't go like 10 feet away from me. He stays right close to me. I'll guard you, man. I'll guard you. I'm the guard dog, man. Can you sit? Can you sit? Sergeant, sit. Good boy. You listen so well when your brother's not out here. You gotta realize that my voice is more important than Diesel's, right? Such a good boy. Go on, go run. You wanna play fetch? Do you know how to play fetch yet? I don't even know if I've taught him how to play fetch yet. Like you have to teach a dog how to play fetch. If you don't know how to play fetch, you're not a dog. Okay, one second, one second here. Okay, sorry, you want it? You want it? You want it? Go get it, go get it. Bring it here. No, you gotta get the toy first, man. Get the toy. Bring it here. Bring it here, buddy. This is his first fetch. Your very first fetch ever. Good boy, you brought it back to me. Good boy, did you, was that fun? Did you like that? Did you like that? Wanna do it again? There it goes. See? You don't even have to teach them how to play fetch, they just do it naturally. Bring it here, bud. You gotta keep it in your mouth first. Bring it here. Come on, bud. Gotta learn how to hold it. I'm getting there. It's about to get high energy out here. Are you ready for this? Is there a weasel in here? Is there a weasel in here? I think there's a weasel in there, man. There's a weasel. Is there a weasel in here? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Incoming! Yeah. See, I got Sergeant tied right now. Just so that Diesel can do his business, because if I don't do that, Diesel won't do his business. Sergeant, Sergeant, come here. See how he doesn't listen to me when Diesel's out here? Something we gotta work on. Sergeant, hey, come here, come on. No, will not listen. Sergeant, come. No, will not listen, Diesel will eventually. See Diesel out there. Dun, 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 dun. Sergeant, you gotta stay. You gotta stay. I'm gonna sit here right with you. You gotta learn how to stay and let Diesel be when he's outside. He never lets him be. You always gotta bug him. He doesn't wanna bug be bugged like that, man. Nope, sit. Nope, you gotta wait here. Sit. Because if you don't train him to leave Diesel alone, imagine imagine what he would do. Imagine what he would do with uh, uh, a dog that he doesn't know. It's not that he would attack him, but he wouldn't leave him alone. And he wouldn't listen to me. So you gotta learn to listen to me, even when Diesel's out here. So that I have control over you, right? I'm the master. I'm the boss. Look at me. Look at me. Don't look at Diesel. Don't look at Diesel. No, he's not even there. He's not even there. Sit. All right, Diesel, you hold the fort. Sergeant's gotta go visit the doctor. He's okay, don't worry, he's just getting his shots. All right, good boy. All right, guys, so, gotta bring Sergeant into the vet, get a few shots, get a checkup, all that stuff. So he's all ready for the world. Ready for the world. All right, let's go in, let's go into town. We came to visit mom, she's looking for Special phone numbers for me. Call before you dig. So I want to build Diesel and Sergeant's pen in the back of my yard. And I need to know where I can and can't dig. I don't think there's going to be anything down there, but I'll call them anyways. I wanted to show you guys this thingy that she has here. They got this new, what do you call this thing? What do you call this thing again? It's a gazebo. It's a gazebo. Mm -hmm. it's a gazebo. And it's all fenced in, or it's got this mesh here so that the mosquitoes and flies can't get in there. And if it rains, you can pull these curtains closed so that it's like a closed-in room. And then the rain doesn't get in there. And 
unzip this here. It's got a little chandelier hanging from there and everything. It's got a, this is actually plastic. It looks like glass, but lets the sunlight in here real nice. Yeah, and this is where she spends a lot of her time. Out here reading and whatnot. Nice little gazebo at their house here. And this owl here. <laughs> Would you believe that owl actually scares away all the birds because apparently the birds are coming and dumping all over their deck. So they put an owl there and he scares away all the birds. And it actually works. <laughs> apparently some flies are still getting through because she's got a fly swatter in here. Flies beware. But then again, if you look at this, they can still get in there. Huh. I guess this thing isn't completely fly proof, but definitely makes it better. I don't care about that. Bob? I'm gonna ask her about why this crack is there. Bugs can still get in there then. Yeah, I came to visit mom for a bit after I brought Sergeant to the vet. He got all his shots, he's all up to date. You wanna see me in graduation? Me on my graduation day. Did you notice that on your gazebo there, the there's a big crack opening on the top of your gazebo, where bugs can get in, where those hooks are? Oh yeah. But the bugs can get, still get in there. Get in there. What if they're smart? <laughs> if we have that, it's always like that. So when yeah. we got a cam too, they make them oh. so that they get in there. Okay, I always thought that a fly would just fly over that then. Yeah. Yeah. Get in there from the top. Apparently they don't. They're not that smart. <laughs> Maybe they do get in there, but I've never noticed that they do. And your owl in the back there is still scaring away all the birds? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. He doesn't even move. Doesn't uh -huh. make a noise. All my vehicles and toys are so thirsty all the time. They're always so thirsty. I'm gonna do something about that. The price of fuel here today is uh dollar four nine a liter for regular gas that's what I'm getting because I'm just a regular guy I'm just a regular guy and I just want regular gas what what is my phone angry at now my truck so Dustin's coming down right now he's actually on the, oh he's actually right here that's my cousin right there what I just talking about him he's coming down to my house with his quad right away I was just talking about you. Yeah, I was saying you're coming down. And then there you go. There you are. <laughs> I've been waiting here, man. I guard the house good, man. No one came near it, man. So I chased the squirrel away. He, he was near the house. I barked at him, man. I did a good job. You gonna come inside now? Let's go inside. <laughs> Dustin's gonna be here right away with his quad. And I wanna be ready. Cause I wanna go get some mud. All over me, all over me and all over my quad. Uh, I know a couple of trails that I went down yesterday by myself that I didn't want to go down by myself because I didn't want to get stuck and be like in the middle of nowhere with no cell service by myself. So now today I got the buddy system going on. I got my friend there with me. So if one of us gets stuck or if one of us tries to do too big of a wheelie and yeah, whatever, worst case scenario, there's somebody there. So I'm not by myself. So we can get a little bit more daring today. Are you guys ready to go get muddy? The trails are muddy. There's a couple of them that are just mud and it's gonna be great. All right, there's, I'm not gonna say that. I'm just gonna start right there. <clears throat> Restart uh, that. You okay? Oh yeah, I'm just <laughs> fat and I bent over. <laughs> it happens. Doesn't so we, <clears throat> the meat of the Chevy's here. What, what's that? Well, that's your- uh, Vaporizer. Your vaporizer. Well, but it smells it good. It smells burnt. Smells I burnt sweet. it, I think, like the day I got it. Because oh. I was a dum dum. And. Huh. We must be related. I have those days every day. No, it just tastes like burnt because huh. I put a different one in here because I washed the other one. Huh. You're so, a vapor. Yeah. You're a vaporizer. No, it just tastes like burnt instead of butterscotch. Hmm. So this is Dustin's quad. You guys haven't seen it yet. It is a Suzuki 400. Oh. Excuse me, a Suzuki Z400 or Z400 for you Americans. Yeah. And here's my beautiful.
Polaris. Some of you asked me, why do you get a Polaris? Well, because it was for sale. And it's orange. The air in this one's like most red. Ah. Yes. Ah. We're filming now. <laughs> yeah. What in the hood? That really sucks. So guys, I broke my chain. I like to break stuff on this thing apparently. But what we're going to do is we're just going to take that one link out of the chain. And hopefully it'll still work without that one link because the, the chain was a little stretched out already. It's a little old. So uh, if not, I'll have to go get another extra little link and lengthen it again. At least it's not the engine, right? <laughs> At least it's not the engine. This isn't going to be as big of a repair. It's just a pain. I mean, who's ever heard of a chain breaking? I know they hap it happens, but... Like, come on, that's why we don't have belts. We have chains, so that they don't break. And then they go and break, but... Oh, well, Dustin's going to go down the road and get our buddy. Hopefully, we'll be able to fix it up real quick and continue on our ride. Yep, we're doing this. Yep. So, Dustin is tugging me down the road to our buddy Ginter's. And uh, we're going to try to fix this chain. Well, 
Well, John just got home. He's gonna fire up his bike for us. See what this thing sounds like. Well, thanks for joining me today, guys. It was a really fun day. I had a fun quadding. Oh, man, that was a lot of fun. Dustin can do some serious wheelies, eh? He's good at it. I thought I was good at it. I can just do papa wheelies. He can actually do wheelie wheelies. Oh, man. So I'm getting tired. I want to edit this up yet real quick. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I'll see you tomorrow after 4 a.m. Central Time. John is home. He just got home, as you saw, so... We'll be doing some riding tomorrow. Oh, excuse me. Oh. After I go and get my chain fixed on my quad. I can't believe I'm going to go do that tomorrow yet. I'm going to run all the way into town and get a new chain. It's cheaper than a quad payment, though. Just saying. Just saying. I'll keep breaking it. I'll keep fixing it. It's worth it it's fun and you probably noticed on my quad it's kind of shaky one of my rims is bent in the front i bought it like that so i gotta fix that eventually but whatever but i will talk to you tomorrow guys see you then <laughs>